was the train journey 30 hours of train journey <laughs> i'm looking forward to getting off one train 30 hours 1400 kilometers and more fellow passengers than i can count this is the story of my journey across india on the unreserved coach the part of the train where there is no fancy booking system you simply walk up to the station buy a ticket and take up whatever space you can find it's a journey you won't see many foreigners attempting because it's far from comfortable. But it is an experience. And this is what it was like. But first, let me introduce you to the Indian Railway. There's something uniquely fascinating about the Indian train journey. India is home to the fourth largest rail network in the world, crisscrossing over 120,000 kilometers of the country. Each year, it transports 8.4 billion passengers, more people than there are on the planet, and over a billion tons of cargo. This particular train runs from the southern state of Kerala all the way to the northeast, and so it's a route used by many migrant workers in the country. The Indian Railway has been called the lifeblood of the nation. Like, that's literally their slogan. And I can understand why. For me, this was an experience, but for many of the people on this train, it was essential. It was how they got to work and it was how they returned home to their families. Hey guys, what's up? Lakshmi here. I'm getting ready to go on a train. Um, I have my backpack and I have a sleeping bag and uh, we're gonna take a 30 hour train from Alipay to, um, I'm not really sure where the station is. When I tell people that I'm gonna do this, they say, why would you do that? Don't do that, which made me want to do it, you know? So now I'm doing it. <laughs> There's varying levels of comfort on a train, and we're gonna go with the one that has none of that. <laughs> when I like to travel, I, I like to leave my comfort zone, and what better way than to just get rid of all the luxuries? And so we're traveling on the general class for a long time. <laughs> so I'm about to go meet my friend and uh, start this adventure. Uh, first, in order to get there, uh, we have to take a train. <laughs> Let's go. In the general class, you have to fight to get on the train because, remember, your ticket doesn't equal the seat. <laughs> Once we arrived, we just had to wait for our train that left at 6 a.m. I don't remember why, but we decided not to wait at the station. So, we're walking to the beach to go take a nap before a train, which is in four hours, three hours. But I never made it to the beach. The dog. Instead, okay, I did this. <laughs> this is not a good decision. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck in a pit of wet cement. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me keep my. I was really stuck. Yeah, okay, come, come. <laughs> <laughs> the beach was a fail, so we made our way back to the station. Okay, okay. Thanks. Ah. Thanks. No. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. 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 <laughs> we were now going to wait at the station like normal people. <laughs> oh, that is our train. Look at it. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> All right.
there's something creepy about a completely empty tree in, it, in the darkness. But like, it also looks like a comfy place. I give this hotel three stars. <laughs> and that was how we boarded our train. <laughs> Being the first to board the train was the best. I woke up a little hot and sweaty, but mostly well rested. And we got window seats. Good morning. Good morning. Somewhere in Tamil Nadu, we picked up a lot more passengers and a few unwelcome guests. Excuse me, please move. Anybody's there? You put it back to down. Meet the Hijras, the transgender people of India. When the station had stopped, a group of them had boarded the train and were demanding money from people. Some very aggressively. They have a very weird place in society. In Hindu mythology, they're revered, and so people seek their blessings. But at the same time, they're ostracized completely from society, and so they use their holy status to demand money from people. Getting a job for them is hard, so most of them are prostitutes. It's sad, though they still terrify me. on the train, this is usually the main course, biryani. Me. How's it? It's good. And you could always find a samosa. Or this other little fried snack I tried. Uh, this is parambari, 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 parambari. Hold on, this is the face of someone who spent far too long on a train already. Or <laughs> <laughs> it was a fried and battered banana. It was all right. This is Cinderella Samosa. Okay. So how does one pass the time on a train? Normally I would sleep or pull up my laptop and do work, but here that was not so easy. It was too hot and crowded. Here I found myself mostly people watching. <laughs> Super exciting, but not really. Because you know, I need more people to come. You need more people. Yeah. You want more people. Only, only less people. Only. You want, this is not enough people. That's what you're <laughs> no, saying. No, few more, few more people. Sure? <laughs> I disagreed. When we reached Chennai Station, we finally got a break. And I wanted to use the washroom. But I didn't use the general class one because it looks like this. In general class, privacy gets thrown out the window. Literally. Like you can see through the window of the washroom. <laughs> Is that our train flooding the station? I think so. <laughs> I look like I've been traveling for three days straight, don't I? Yes, yes I do. No more close-ups. There was basically entertainment everywhere. And then these guys came back. And they were more aggressive than ever. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, hold on.
I'm not sure how they chose their victim, but he seemed to be a popular one. Peace with the Most experienced. Scary, so scary. I'm pretty sure I had nightmares about them that night. Speaking of night, how do people sleep here with so many other people? If there's anything I've learned, it's that people on this side of the train are creative. <laughs> like how they turned the fan into a shoe rack. <laughs> the solution to no space turned out to be hammocks. It was a struggle to get in, but once I did, it was the best thing ever. Should have died on the me hi. How was say? Good, right? Okay, good night then. All right. All across the train, people were setting up air hammocks. Most of them were using shawls, though. And every inch of floor space was taken up by a human being. It was finally almost time for us to leave the train. <laughs> the train journey overall was not all that bad, though I think I was lucky to have someone who knew what they were doing with me. So how was the train journey? 30 hours of train journey. <laughs> I am looking forward to getting off. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to get off. <laughs> we arrived! <laughs> Where are we? Nancy <laughs> Patanam. Okay, we're there. <laughs> oh my god, it's hot. It's too hot. It's so hot. <laughs> I know you probably have better things to do with your time than watch me fall into a pit of cement, so. Just know that I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, bye.